Hey, this is Steve, N4LQ. Built a little gadget today for the ICOM radio. This is uh, an automatic antenna tuner activator switch, we'll call it. And this thing allows you to push a couple of buttons and activate your uh, remote tuner simply by causing the rig to put out 10 watts of RF. Uh, this works with either the uh, 7610 or the 7300. I liked it so much I made one for both. But uh, this is different from all the other models that you've seen on the market. This one allows you to activate uh, the tuner in the radio without making any changes or to activate your remote tuner, either one. So it's got a little connector here, and inside that connector are two components. We'll provide information later about those. This little button came from China. You can get them on eBay or various places on the web. Amazon sells them. They're about uh, 6 to $8. It's got rubber feet on it, and it's made originally for turning your computer off and on or resetting it. So this button's kind of recessed. But uh, all you got to do is plug it into the back of the radio, and it doesn't matter if the radio is on or off because it's not connected to anything until you push the button. So you just reach around here like so and plug it in. And you're ready to go. Now, if you would like to tune your antenna with the radio and not use your your big tuner, external tuner, then just hold your tuner button in like you always did. And voila, it's tuned. Okay. So if you decide that you'd like to use a different antenna that requires your... Uh, you know, wider range manual tuner or wider range automatic tuner, then just turn this one off. It goes into bypass. And then go to your other tuner, which I happen to have here. <clears throat> now this is a uh, MFJ998 rated for 1500 watts. And I do have an amplifier setting over here so I can run high power. So turn it on. As you can see, it's got zero watts out. And now we're going to activate the other tuner. And this is simple. Simply push and hold the uh, reset button here. That activates it. And then push the main button. You hear the click? That was the uh, remote tuner kicking in and doing its thing. Now this will stay in the tune position and put out 10 watts. Or more until uh, I let go. Okay, and now effectively it's disconnected from the radio. It's done its job. Look at the tuner. As you can see here, we've got 11.7 watts out and it tuned uh, 1 to 1 SWR here on 40 meters. Okay, we could, if we wanted to, turn our amplifier on now and run 1500 watts if we wanted to. So if we wanted to go back to uh, our uh, the radio's tuner, just reach over and turn off the big tuner, and then push the uh, tuner button again, and you're tuned on it. So as you can see, it's uh, very simple to use, and you just have to remember to push and hold the, uh, the little button first, uh, like so, and then push your other button. And when you, and once you get the hang of it, like so, you can you can you can do it with one hand. As you can see, they made this small button here a little harder to reach because they didn't want you to ac accidentally uh, trip it. So anyway, uh, like I said, this is pretty simple to build. And uh, all I did was cut the uh, connectors off that went to the computer and uh, used uh, two components, one resistor and one diode. There's nothing to it. 
and just soldered this together. And I'm going to be providing uh, some more information on this uh, a little bit later. Uh, it's in beta right now. I've got some friends that are going to be testing it on their ICOM radios. And we want to be sure everything is okay. But it, uh, it seems to be a very handy little device. So thanks for watching in 73.